Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCO and today I am going to show you how to handle this types of error exception or error message during login process. So here we have a identity related issue and authentication scheme uh, if you have to enter like cookie authentication scheme and uh, if you are using uh, in the login uh, like that claims uh, new uh, list of the claims, claim types, and name identifier, identity, that is claims identity, uh, you know that, uh, that is authentication scheme is the cookie authentication default dot authentication scheme, authentication properties, and HTTP context dot sign in async. Okay, so you got that type of error message, that is error messages, invalid operation exception, no sign in authentication handler is registered for the scheme cookies. The registered sign in scheme are identity dot application, identity dot external, identity dot two factor remember me, identity dot two factor user ID. Did you forget to call add authentication dot add cookie in the cookies? So just remember that did you forget? Uh, that types of thing in the program.cs file that is add authentication dot add cookies. So if you are not using uh, add authentication add cookies in your program.cs file, must you have to add add authentication dot add cookies here. So just go for the program.cs file and here we have that is a simple method that is builder dot services dot add authentication that is cookie authentication by default. So just uh, uncomment this code and stop the application again and you have to start it again. Because if you are using claims, claims identity, HTTP context or sign in async, then you must have to use cookie authentication in your default. Uh, that is the default actually cookie authentication is the authentication scheme. That is the default authentication scheme. Okay, so just you can remove this types of error by using this. So just got it again and your, your problem will be resolved easily by doing this and here we go. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET